years ago as a young missionary laboring in a tiny branch on the small island of Amami Oshima, Japan. One day my companion and I were ecstatic to learn that President Spencer W. Kimball would be visiting Asia and that all members and missionaries in Japan were invited to Tokyo to hear the prophet at an, at an area conference. With branch members, my companion and I excitedly began making plans for the conference, which would require a 12-hour boat ride across the East China Sea to mainland Japan, followed by a 15-hour train ride to Tokyo. Sadly, however, it was not to be. We received word from our mission president because of distance and time, my companion and I would not be able to attend the conference in Tokyo. While members of our little branch embarked for Tokyo, we stayed behind. The following days seemed quiet and empty. We held sacrament meeting alone in the small chapel while Latter-day Saints and missionaries of Japan attended the conference. My sense of personal disappointment intensified even as I joyfully listened to branch members return from the conference days later to report that President Kimball had announced a temple in Tokyo. They gushed with excitement as they shared the fulfillment of their dream. They described how upon hearing the temple announcement, members and missionaries were unable to contain their joy and spontaneously erupted into clapping their hands. Years have passed, but I can still remember the disappointment I felt from missing that historic meeting. In recent months, I have reflected upon this as I have observed others face deep disappointment and sorrow, far greater and deeper than mine ever was as a young missionary. 